Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, collective. Welcome. Let's get into some collective messages. Thank you all for your support. Those that are new to my channel and my loyal subscribers, you all are. The reason I have reached 10,000 subscribers, it is a great milestone for me. It makes it all worth it. All the hard work, all the editing, all of the dedication and time set aside for the readings. I am so grateful. But let's see, what does the universe want you to know at this time? If you're new here, like you're watching me for the first time, welcome. Let's see what messages are here for everybody. Multiple scenarios will come out. Be mindful, this may not be your story. Could be for a handful of people or a group. But let's see. I will clarify. This is my vice versa tarot deck. Why I picked up the Hierophant Taurus energy. For those that don't know, I am a Taurus. I am a teacher. Uh, but yes, there are two sides to each card. So I will be using these to amplify our messages. What's the energy for the collective, please? Happy birthday to any Leo in the reading. It is y'all season. I got the seven of swords, Aquarius energy. Someone could be sneaking around, um, trying to see how they could get away with something, get over on you, manipulate you, control you in some way. Some of you could be strategizing your next move, keeping things close to your chest. But someone could definitely be dropping things, leaving a trail. Um in which they will get caught up in some kind of jam. Again, we will clarify, but yes, that's Aquarius energy. Um, some of you could be sneaking around like secret rendezvous with someone. But let's see. For the collective, that was the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. There could be a masculine here that is very, based on the illustration, he could be like a homebody he could have a green thumb he could be very earthy nurturing um this is usually a very wealthy man a father figure husband material um someone could want to give you a solid offer a job opportunity you could be strategizing your next move how to step into some kind of business for yourself here but let's see what else does the universe have for you all at this time for the collective What's the T? We got the Five of Wands, Conflict and Illusions with the Seven of Cups. Someone could be confused. There is only one court card on the table. That's a King of Pentacles. There could be a masculine under some kind of confusion, internal conflict with the Five of Wands and Seven of Cups. This could be some mind energy, mind manipulation. Someone could be competitive, combative, feels like y'all are in competition or how many routes or how many ways could they go about competing with you um what else is next there could be a lot of competition in regards to some kind of industry someone's trying a lot of things in order to combat or compete with someone um there could definitely be someone sending chaos and illusions over someone's mind with the seven of swords being mind games for one definition Okay, Leo and Scorpio energy here. But let's see. What else? For the collective. I have the four of pentacles and the sun. Someone could be trying to open up Capricorn and Leo energy. Okay, someone could have been very cautious about having a child. Will of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles is here. Their next move being their best move. Someone's really trying to calculate or be calculated in something is a real vibe that I'm feeling with the back and forth energy of the Two of Pentacles. Someone could have went back and forth between you and another, back and forth between jobs, back and forth between homes. This is a collective read, so I'm going to give every scenario 
not every scenario possible. I'm going to give many scenarios not to have you out here for over an hour. I've learned that over hour readings really lose people's attention. Unless you're like driving or something, you need like a podcast type of reading. I'm usually a straightforward reader. If I got a long reading, I'm doing a whole lot of talking. But let's see. Here's that higher fantasy again with belief systems. So since I keep coming to that, could be something about tradition, morals, ethics, values, standards, how someone was brought up. My cat is at the door. She is a Taurus. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus since it keeps coming up. But let's see. Are you all a Taurus? Or someone has a Taurus placement? But it could be a lot about practicality. Uh, steadfast. I mean, I am a Taurus. I know most of the general standards other than... I mean, general characteristics other than someone's life. Like, creating them to be who they are. Like, upbringing and nature versus nurture that's what changes a zodiac how someone is brought up so i got karma balance justice weighing things out libra energy cause and effect uh there we go and wants to make things right with choices the two of pentacles for me is very symbolic for choices uh, weighing things out going back and forth for a lot of you mixed signals unsure uncertain you or someone you're dealing with i have a lot of earth here um but there's a mixture of uh the element i have earth water fire earth fire earth and air so what's lacking here is mental air with the seven of swords being the only air energy here um i like to read by suit too so we're missing a lot of practicality logical approach um sureness direction decisiveness we missing that okay finances could be an issue as well but let's see what else for the collective seven of swords what's going on with the seven of swords freedom uranus okay heavy aquarius the seven of swords is aquarius clarified by an aquarius card with the fool being aquarius so humanitarianism, you could be a star, you could be a healer, you could be inspiration, you could give hope, bring hope, all of that. You could have a nonprofit organization, you like to help the homeless. Okay, just letting things out that come to me as an intuitive reader. So leap of faith, breaking free, new cycle, fast change, new direction. Some of you need to strategize your next move with this combination here. Okay, someone could be sneaking around their, oh Lord. Someone's planning to step away from someone when they get their shit together. That's very straightforward, very blunt. I mean that. I actually am sure that that's the scenario for most of you. Someone's planning to move away from someone, be done with someone, cut someone off once they get on their feet. This is you or someone you're dealing with. Um, hmm. Wow. Some of you need to strategize, keep things close to your chest. Do not tell everyone your plans, not until they have sprung into action, because people like to pray on your downfall. We are in a spiritual community. People can do, will do spell work to block you. If you're broadcasting, hey, in a month, I'm going to do this. Even me, when I have to announce my lives, I get people that are ready, gung-ho to set up a energy siphoning session. So, I can't say I'm going to do a live on this day. I used to go live every Friday for those that are new to my channel. But I'm uh, super, super sensitive to energies and I get a lot of attacks. So I just, I just don't. But um, I will. They are at random though. So yeah, some of you could be needing to keep things close to your chest and let them go ahead and spring into action. But yeah, I do feel like some of you need to figure out, strategize what's next for you, where are you going, where are you headed. All right. Oh, this is someone coming towards you when they get that shit together. They could be using someone else. Y'all could be sneaking around. Mm -hmm. Or you're, yeah. King of Pentacles. Falling of a leap of faith. The King of Pentacles is rebuilding himself, healing unworthiness, boundaries, expectations, values. I said that and high vibrational energy. This is a masculine that is um, like an emperor with that high vibrational energy. 
So why is he not an emperor? Why did he come out of King of Pentacles? Which is a great energy. To me, this is the next best thing to an emperor. Uh, the King of Wands is usually someone's twin, but they could come with a lot of fiery energy. And you, I would prefer this grounded energy. But um, yeah, self-worth, healing unworthiness. This masculine, you could be this masculine watching, even if you're a stud or you go by another pronoun. This is yang masculine energy with this king of pentacles so i gotta read the card i'll do my best to address and not leave anyone out because i do get a lot of same sex people that watch me so maybe you're stronger than the person you're dating with this masculine king of pentacles however he could feel better about himself with stability and who wouldn't um, he could also be married. He has to figure out what he wants. Um, someone could want to provide, want to be a leader of a household. He's not there yet. That's what he's working on. So again, if I was to combine these two in a, in a, in a spread, I can choose to read everything in a sentence, which my team knows that I prefer to do that. Or I can say this batch is for somebody, this batch is for somebody, this batch is for somebody. I'll see by the end if it's the same story, but definitely these two over here could be this masculine preparing himself to leave someone or something else behind once he gets on his feet, which means he could be utilizing, grouped up, paired up in partnership or working for someone that he's not truly connected to. Okay. There could be a, a disconnect with me having a lack of mind or swords on my table they're just going with the flow until they get to where they are y'all connection could have been going with the flow too but something there was some kind of conflict which is where we're going to get to and confusion coming up here and someone decided to be guarded and closed off i have a sneeze i'm not sure if it's negative energy or uh probably every time I'm up late. But yeah, let's see. What's the five of wands? Again, y'all heard me. Someone's building their life up or try, trying to figure out what they want for themselves. Five of wands for the collective. Epiphany. Child spirit said, we got your back. Mm, 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 mm. Tap the fuck in. I just said a whole lot of masculine energy, masculine energy, masculine energy. I won't address the same sex people, but please hear me out. This is masculine energy. Spirit say, you right. It's fucking masculine energy. So, that's been stamped. I'm not going to be an asshole about it. We can't argue with the facts. So, this masculine, this, this yang, this sun is yang. The sun is yang. So, we could be dealing with a divine counterpart divine partnership or a need for balance a need for assertion a need for logic we do not have enough swords on my table okay logical is right there we don't have enough swords on my table but this is swords energy with shift breakthrough realization sudden wake up call energy shift epiphany that's mind energy okay clarifying the conflict so this masculine could be going through some mental conflict but he may let's read the illustration abs out hoodie on this could be symbolic for swagger demeanor i'm good can't nobody tell me shit i'm standing 10 toes down i am where i want to be i'm a ceo i'm a boss i got because somebody is wealthy or they will be king of pentacles they're not showing what their internal conflict is though they may look good on paper, in the mirror, and on picture, but I am a high priestess. This person is not good. They lying. Seven of swords, self-deception. But even though they are being deceptive to you and everyone around them, they do know that they have to change with new cycle, new direction. So they're wearing a facade. That's why I did see that conditioning mask energy and their healing um but these type of things can't escape someone they can see internally or someone's subconscious mind the mask is i'm good they know they're not good but they're going it's they're faking it till they make it or you are great advocate me <laughs> i'm gonna advocate here great move is they do intend to change the issue is they're not there yet but they're already acting like they're there humble yourself or they need to humble themselves or uh, some of you are in a place of conflict could be workplace conflict 
you know it's time for you to either start your own business with this action masculine yang energy male or female because yang is action and assertion you may be a single parent assertive protective you may have shit to do so that puts you in your masculine energy um or your masculine era involuntarily you gotta do what you gotta do um and leave something behind or start your own business okay because this is not it's no longer aligning with your soul with epiphany and him meditating like i'm finding peace a peace of mind but there's conflict here or a toxic workplace environment start your own business um as well for some of you yeah but yeah most of you someone's in their head now let's see what's the confusion for the collective They feel guilty. They feel like they sabotaged. They feel like they played on you. They messed everything up. Now it's all conflicted. They don't even know how to go about it. They can't sleep. Insomnia. Someone has a mental illness with the seven of cups and the nine of swords. This is a combination of schizophrenia and anything else. Stop depression. So... Me being intuitive, I'm like, I'm missing mind. I'm missing mind. Someone's mind is gone. It's, it, it, it gets that simple. Again, collectively, I'm going to give as many scenarios I feel that can squeeze in a short read um, without boring, becoming boring to anyone or just dragging a read. I'm going to give you the tea. The tea is either someone feels like they fucked something up, someone's confused about their next move, they can't sleep, they're stressed, or someone's mentally unwell. That could be the internal conflict. There could be a masculine trying to control and dominate someone else, which is causing them to be confused. Or due to their codependency, lack of direction for themselves, they let someone control them, misguide them. And now they have a sense of mental illness by letting someone run their life. This is you or someone you're dealing with or someone you're connected to. It could be a cousin, a brother, or sister, whoever. You could be witnessing this. And this is your reading, your guidance. We're going to see what the guidance is because I always will do a recap. Okay. Or uh, drop an advice card if I'm going off too much. Gemini, energy with the nine and swords, shadow work. Um, someone could be under a spell too. Someone could be projecting this energy of confusion and mental conflict over someone's mind too. Mm hmm. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands is someone behind the scenes creating conflict. They think they're getting away with it. But again, a high priestess sees. What is the Four of Pentacles? Capricorn energy for the collective, please. I forgot to tell y'all I saw 1717. 17. So one is new, seven is divine, but they both have multiple meanings. That's just my quick summary. So, a new divine path for some of you with a partner, okay? Since it's doubled, maybe a soulmate or a twin. Four pentacles. Falling over the five of wands until dead tarot support. Yeah. Uh, learning karmic lessons is the major part of this card with debt, karmic debt. Maturity, structure, adversity, and restriction. Someone's holding back. They're holding on to something. Someone could be possessive over someone's energy. There's a definite, definite, <laughs> definite requirement to get this person out of y'all energy. Now, some of you, this is someone that keeps gluing themselves to you energetically, uh, binding themselves. Oh, this is for my deeply spiritual people. Give me a sec to approach and uh, address them. Um, someone's finding a way to do root work, bind themselves to you, attach themselves to you in the astral plane when you're sleeping, uh, astral cords, low astral entities, um, when you are low vibrational, you're drinking too much, you are having excessive sex, uh, you're, tr you have some trauma going on, this makes you susceptible even more to someone prying or probing to get into your energy um so raise your vibration keep up your cleansing maybe even repetitive cut the cords for those that are deeply spiritual and you have someone possessive over your energy okay 
for the rest of you normal people not do, doing or dealing with anything like this um there could definitely be a need to release a relationship it's a karmic partner with karmic lessons here a karmic partner is someone that may come in your life for a year five years ten years it begins to dwindle it begins to deteriorate it, be, it begins to become depressive you begin to lose uh interest passion all of that and they may be a great friend. Y'all may become roommates, but you're still calling yourself their wife or their husband or their boyfriend or their girlfriend or you're shacking up with a baby's mother or a baby's father because it's comfortable. Let that go. That's no longer your path. You've learned what you needed to learn. It's already run its course. And I'm not saying people are supposed to be jumping around like hoes and, and whores. I'm just saying people are supposed to let shit be when it's showing you that it's over with. Someone keeps with the world and the two of pentacles, keeps trying to open a door that's trying to shut for you so that you can start over full here. Okay, some of you women could have a choice between two men or one of these men is the man holding on to you uh, for you feminine energies. Okay. Yeah, so Saturn is on this card. That lets me know. Could be... A lot of shadow work, a lot of lessons to be learned. Um, I just made a post, um, now that y'all can hear my voice instead of me t uh, typing. I don't condone in people letting their twin suffer by the hands of karmic spell work. But my word choice, I believe, was in the, because I can't see it, but I know how I felt when I seen it. Um, leaving your twin, letting your twin, uh, hang out the dry or something like that um when god has given you the ability to see like me i have dreams i get downloads i'm clear audience things are shown right in front of me god will sit my enemy right in front of me at the same table just for me to see okay this is a problem um when it comes to my other half though it's like even my catalyst i was completely connected to him as well until my actual twin stepped into my life it's weird how they shut down like that but um I get stuff that lets me know what's going on or if there's any struggle, if there's any strife, if there any trauma. Even if we're not on the best of terms, it's my job to pray over him and do what I can to uplift his life from behind the scenes. Um, I have no ill intention. I don't believe in letting a, a bitch do a spell on anyone, and I know it, and that's not free will. When you do, and I might lose a few subscribers after I say this, but when you do a love spell on someone, they're not choosing you. You're bending their will. You're making them pick you. So any soulmate, any baby mama, any wife, any husband, any baby's father that they were supposed to have, create, and do on their own, you have somehow interfered, intervened, and made this person pick you. I don't know where someone thinks that that's okay. I mean, plenty of places, obviously. These are my opinions. So let me say that. These are my opinions. I believe in free will. That's a fact. Free will is a fact. My opinion is if you do a spell on someone, you strip them of their free will. That's actually a fact. But for the sake of arguing or being combative or debating with someone, be that as it may, you may feel like you can do what you want to do. But if someone does not pick you, that's not love. So, and it's actually a fact as well. But, yeah, I don't condone and saying, oh, fuck them. They chose that bitch. Let them, let that bitch do what they going to do to them. No. If you know this is your divine partner, God gave you the ability, the freedom, the ranking, the backing to step in and break that shit. However many times it need to be broken. Um, What you mean? Let them do that. Let them have it. I don't believe in it. Just like if I saw a homeless person and I had three burgers in my bag, why will I not share if I have it within me to, to give? That's selfish. That's anger. That's resentment. If some people say, well, I'm trying to move on. Fuck that. Okay. But if something is a soul contract, if something is for you, something may be beautiful, bright, and shiny, you will meet opposition. You can't say, fuck it, they can have it. You're supposed to fight for your stuff because that's the world we live in, opposition, envy, and hate. You don't just let people win because you want peace. And I know I may be <laughs> raising a few eyebrows, but I'm not letting anyone take anything from me is my approach. That's all I'm saying. 
Oh, I'm not letting anyone destroy someone connected to me. If I know we're in this together, whether we're, toge whether we're together or not. And that's just how I feel. What's the sign for the collective? Fears and illusions, which brings me to that seven of cups in this five of wands and this nine of swords. So someone is breaking through. Interesting. Some kind of fear and illusion. The sun is a breakthrough that was over their mind. Okay, now this could be a continuous battles. Some of you are clearing the way for you and or a partner. You're battling someone that keeps trying to redo it or replant it or replace it. Some of you are overcoming obstacles and it's something else that shows up. There's going to be a breakthrough and a successful outcome. Some of you are healing in a child. Someone has inner child issues, which created like a, a defense mechanism personality. Um, What was it my ex told me he had and I blew it off when we first met? He said disassociated identity disorder. I'm like, boy, ain't nothing wrong with you. He was serious. So his younger self that was abuse created another identity for him as a safeguard um so yeah that became a real problem um some of you are healing from some kind of childhood with the little baby here childhood trauma okay could have some for uh some i was gonna say fraternal some of you could actually have a twin like a real blood twin fraternal twin but um i was gonna say father issues um, but since I said fraternal, I was combining, <laughs> but, uh, what is it? Paternal and maternal, I believe, because father. But yeah, some of you could have parental issues growing up. Let me not get these words conflicted and combined. Uh, childhood trauma. Some of you could have had both of your parents growing up. However, they may have not been present. Um, they may have worked. They may have said, here, here's some Here's some microwave sandwiches. Go cook it. Like, y'all childhood could have been real rocky. This created some internal things for a lot of you. Now, some of you, someone just has a negative outlook on life, relationships, starting fresh, new jobs, moving out of the city, however it go. There's a breakthrough on that. But can we clarify the sun? And what is the sun meaning to this fear and illusion? It, some of you are just healing. Yeah, wow. This world is right up underneath that two of pentacles, which I will clarify last. It's right here. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius with the butterfly symbolic for transformation. Um, some of you are healing from negative self-talk, negative outlook, comfort zone, breaking free. Um, someone that was holding you back, creating fears and illusions over your life. You're moving forward. That door is closed. But let's see. Hey, man, I claim this read because I'm tired of bs in my life people's lives closely connected to me i see this reading for what it is the world and the sun this is going to be a new start a new cycle the fool was the first card some of you have to get out of your own way with it clarifying the seven of swords there's going to be a new start a new beginning a fresh cycle a new relationship a new perspective a new thought process regardless with all that breakthrough energy because the mind didn't show up for us today that much, which, wow. So that seven of swords was hot on the scene. There it is. Seven of swords, seven of swords. Self-deception for a lot of you. You got to get out of your own way or stop being tempted by those around you, delaying you, blocking you, trying to stop you. I find it funny when someone or some energy tries to interfere with my throat chakra. I know a lot of new people watch tarot. They'll be like, what do these readers be talking about? Somebody trying to interfere. When you're dealing with cards and stuff and tools and stuff, you're dealing with spirit. You have to keep your bubble tight or make sure that you have some kind of barrier because all spirits will show up to mislead you, dark and light. So there's some kind of dark spirit trying to interfere with my throat chakra. And I say, hell no. But anyways, what's this two of pentacles for the collector? Bottom of the deck is a hidden factor for me as a reader. Two of Pentacles. The hidden factor is time to take action and someone's guarded. Why are they guarded? Or keep things close to your chest with silent. 
and secretive. That's the high priestess energy, just the silent and secretive. Yeah, what's why is this cold here? Compassion, love, sincere feelings, wants to take care of you, protective, nurture. Some of you need to nurture your plans before you, yeah, like planting your seed, nurture. So I repeat, don't just be sharing your stuff. Um, Some of you need boundaries with someone that actually has the potential to love on you, but they're juggling you. Uh, if, they're gonna, if they want you, they will pursue you. Any, anyone that wants you will pursue you. And I feel like somebody need to hear this. So I repeat, anyone that wants you will pursue you. Or they'll show equal interest depending on assertion and submission and all of that. Because, yeah, men like to lead and I feel that they should. But they can't do it all by themselves. Um, Cold. Someone is hiding their feelings. It's interesting. It says, hiding feelings at the nail. This guy here. And I clarified it. Sincere feelings. So a hidden fact is someone's going back and forth, wishy-washy, night and day. Sun is setting, sun is up and bright and shiny. Some of you could be waiting on a ship to come in, someone to come towards you to take action, or you're this person trying to decide what to do. That's a hidden factor, which is also a blockage. You need to close that out, okay? Because there's another masculine right behind you if you're a male watching, and it's going to come at a shop with the tower if someone moves on before you're ready i feel like a guy need to hear that if for some of you it's a twin because i feel the star the sun and the moon are right next to each other there's a lot going on with like a divine connection as well but yeah um let's recap oh <laughs> spirit say we got you there go that two of pentacles i got drake on the tv he's a scorpio and he say, feel no ways. Someone's blocking their emotions. Uh, to start the recap, some of you need to get out of your own way. Self-deception. Someone's behind the scenes trying to hold on to your energy, create confusion, create conflict between you and another. Some of you need to start a business. Um, you're not truly happy where you are. You have potential. You have gifts. You have abilities to do your own thing. Um, there's a reset here, though. Most of the read. But I feel like action is required here whether this be a job or a partnership that's the main thing i'm feeling now with this person hiding their feelings that came out with very brunt blunt brunt someone could be a grunt they could be um what's that word nonchalant and guarded just weird I don't like that. Um, but with this energy being a hidden factor, this is what needs to change in order for things. It's like hit the gas or an all. Like something's pending. There's a connection here pending. Someone just needs to step into how they feel on that with this masculine energy. Be assertive. Yeah. Behind the scenes, someone's mentally unstable as well. Someone created that mental instability for a lot of you. Someone goes back and forth between you and another. If they won't make the decision, make it for them. It'll be all right. They'll come around or they won't. You keep moving forward. Someone's learning a lesson. But for some of you, that lesson requires, you know, separation. That don't mean you let someone walk all over them, in my opinion, doing spells on them, in my opinion. I just wouldn't, whether we're together or not. Because um, that delays any lesson they're learning because their mind gone. Durr. Okay, they under some kind of spell. How they going to learn if they not even themselves? But yeah, that's the recap. A lot of y'all need to move forward from a situation or a job. Yeah, someone may be coming towards you once they, there's a pending connection, once they overcome whatever this is that they're hiding from you, which is their feelings or emotions, or this is you. Until next time, peace.